Hey guys, today I thought I'd talk about my anxiety just because um, on Twitter and Facebook I kind of went on like a, I guess you could call it like a rant about my anxiety. Not really a rant, just like explaining things to people that don't know that I have anxiety. And honestly, I don't really know why I picked today to just tell everybody that I have anxiety, but I did and, um, and I've actually had some responses from one person who I knew a long time ago who told me that um, she also struggles with it too. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know how I found out that I had anxiety and what I've been doing to, you know, help cope with anxiety. And honestly, to, and honestly, to let you guys know how anxiety can affect somebody's life and how it affects my life. So with that being said, we're just going to get straight into this short video. And yeah, let's get started. So I want to say ever since I was maybe first grade, maybe even that long ago, I don't know, but I've always been kind of like shy, off to the side. Um, it was kind of harder for me to make friends. Um, the only way I would have friends is if they came to me and then that's how I would make friends. And slowly but surely I would um, build up to being able to, you know, talk to them like a friend instead of just like, oh, a stranger. But um, ever since first grade, I would say, and I think it got really bad in sixth grade. I was kind of like I had friends, but I was kind of more to myself and I never really wanted to talk to anybody because I did feel like I was going to say the wrong things or they were going to judge me. So I, I just kind of kept to myself. And then, uh, well, that's everybody always thought it was just shy and which I am shy. I, I'll admit that I am shy. But now that I'm older, I do know that it, it, it is anxiety. Um, just because there is certain things that um, happens when you're shy and um, certain things that happen when you have anxiety and so like I guess when you're shy you're just kind of like not really talking to people or you just feel um, vulnerable I guess I don't really know but um, I know for anxiety it's a constant worry in your head that you're gonna say something wrong and so you don't want to do a certain thing or say a certain thing because you don't want to be judged by it so that's what I had that's what I felt like I had or I in fact I never felt like I had anxiety I always just thought I was shy until I think this year or maybe last year I'm like wow I think I have anxiety doing my research and um, following these pages about uh, mental health issues about mental health and um, I was following some anxiety pages and I was like relating to some of the things that they were saying I was like wow I think I have anxiety but I never wanted to just go out and say it and, and like self-diagnose myself with it so I just kind of kept it to myself and I was like yeah I guess you're right I'm just shy I don't really like to talk to people I'm not a people person but really that's not it at all See, like when I make these videos, I feel more comfortable than I do speaking to somebody face to face. And as you guys can tell, I'm still kind of nervous even talking to the camera and like it's just a camera. But I know that you guys are going to watch this eventually and I don't know if I'll be judged for it. So, you know, that's part of my anxiety. Um, so I think it was three, four, no, maybe like two months ago, I started going to therapy because um, I've been telling my mom that oh mom I think I have anxiety and she was like yeah I think you might have anxiety so I went to a therapist and she confirmed that I do have social anxiety anxiety and honestly it's a it's a real big struggle because it it, it like holds me back from a lot of things um, for example like I said in the beginning it holds me back from making friends and one big um, thing that it holds me back from is I've been with my fiance not my fiance well he was my boyfriend for two years and now he's my fiance um, but I've been with him for two years, like I said, and I'm still kind of like nervous and I have anxiety going to talk to his parents. I still can't like really have a full on conversation with his parents. I can talk to his parents, but I still get very, very scared and nervous and worried of what they're going to think about me or what they're going to say about me. And even though I know, like, I know they're not going to judge me because they, they like me. I know they're not going to judge me, but it's a constant worry in my head that they are going to judge me. So it holds me back. It really holds me back. And like I mentioned um, earlier on my Facebook, if you don't have me on Facebook, it's just Ashley Warren. Um, I talked about how... I talked about how... Um, when I want to talk to somebody or when somebody's talking to me or when I have to talk to somebody that I don't really talk to or I don't really know, um, I tend to pick at my skin. So like I'll pick up my, my fingernails right here or I'll pick our, I'll like, um, I don't know if you can see, but I start to bite on my cheeks and stuff like that. 
and it, it hurts at the end because I don't realize it when I'm doing it but I do do that and I start to bleed and then I'll realize after like wow I'm bleeding and um, that's one thing that I do when I have um, anxiety and so that's one thing that happens when I'm in an uncomfortable situation or I know I'm about to go and speak to somebody or um, another thing that happens is my heart starts beating super super fast it's so uncontrollably fast and then I start to sweat and then I kind of feel dizzy or like my world the world is spinning around in front of my face and then of course like what happens when you have anxiety you get a whole bunch of a whole bunch of thoughts in your head like oh this is gonna go wrong oh they're gonna think this or they're gonna say this or they're gonna look at me weird you know but um yeah so ever since i've been i guess diagnosed with anxiety i've been feeling more like i can help it but I've been feeling better about it. Um, I've been feeling like now that I know that I do have anxiety, I can get help. And I have stopped going to um, therapy for a while because my knee had popped out of place. And I plan on going back to anxiety so that I can help cope with this. Because as of right now, it's still kind of bad and I don't want to be like this forever. Because it, like I said before, it holds me back from a lot of stuff that I don't, that I want to be able to do but I can't do because of my anxiety. Um, I guess one thing or a few things that I would like people that know me or like family to know about my anxiety is I really can't control it. If I could control it, I would. I definitely would. I would be like, okay, anxiety, stop. I would control it because nobody wants to have anxiety. Nobody wants to miss out on opportunities. Nobody wants to miss out on um, opportunities on getting closer to somebody in a relationship because of anxiety. But it's there. I have it. And I can't just get rid of it that fast. Um, for example, another another example is when I am nervous about going to speak to somebody or nervous about, I don't know, doing something and my family or my fiance or somebody tells me it's okay, just don't worry about it, try not to think about it or forget about it. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, I honestly wish it was that easy, but that makes me cringe so hard because it, that's very hard to do and um, it's going to make me emotional because I know that, let me stop for a second, I know that everybody thinks that I can just, you know, forget about it and stop it, but um, it's not like that. I wish it was, but it's not like that. Um, so I guess I just wish that um, people that know me or like my family, I wish that they would just kind of understand more and be there for me and just be like, okay, it's okay, we can help you through this, we can, um, I don't know, we can do this for you, we can just be there for me, I guess. I just need loving people around me instead of just telling me, stop being a baby, go do this, you can't do this by yourself, you know, the simple stuff that people probably say to people with anxiety that don't know that it's this hard, but you know. <laughs> glad that I am able to come on to my YouTube and talk to you guys about it because this is something I, I obviously can't talk to people about in person except for my fiance because he's I feel like he's the only one who kind of understands and my family does too but um, I just don't want to like speak to my family about this just because they've been around it for a long time and I don't know if they take it as serious as I take it but um, if they do I, I do love them and I know that they are here for me but I don't know I just wanted to put this out there and let you guys know that I do have anxiety which is probably why I um oh, which is um a reason why I don't post as much as I should as well because I do feel like you guys are gonna judge me all the time and I don't know what to post and I don't want to put up like crappy content because I don't want to be judged for it but um I'm so thankful that I do have this YouTube because like I said before it does help me a lot with um my anxiety and being able to talk to people and I know some people are like how do you have anxiety but you have a YouTube channel and I've heard that before from somebody but really it's it's it helps me so much because I don't have to speak to you guys face to face which will give me anxiety but this I know that um, you guys are gonna see it but right now it's just me and a camera and I can speak to a camera and then put this out later and I just not feel as nervous I guess but yeah, um, I thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you are suffering from anxiety, um, just know that there is help out there, and you should get help. I'm going to get help, so I pray that um, 
I can get, I pray that my anxiety is better in a couple of months, maybe even next year, I could just learn to cope with it better. But thank you guys for watching this video and subscribe, like, and just comment, share your experiences with me if you want. But yeah, thank you guys. Bye.